I mean, I think we've, we knew, you know, at some point we'd get to this where you have bodies back and we have a lot of talent, a lot of depth, a lot of versatility. Um, at times, guys get squeezed. And I've had conversations with, with uh, most of them. But um, I think guys are just bought into, you know, trying to get, our, get ourselves back on track and winning games. So whatever that means. And they know. I mean, it, you know, I'm going to use guys if they're not playing well. I'm going to go a different, different route. If it's foul trouble, if it's, you know, uh, whatever it may be, we're going to use that guy to help us, you know, try to get a win. What did you like about how you closed out the game? Well, I mean, there was, you know, some possessions weren't great, but I thought we played with enough poise. We got enough stops, which is huge. Um, you know, they had a stretch of uh, free throws there, but uh, we knew going in, Harden and B, they're going to shoot a ton of free throws. So being able to guard them without fouling was, you know, a constant message um, between the two of them. I think they, they shot 24. So, uh, you know, we, we didn't do as well as we wanted. But late game, we were able to get stops. Uh, there were a couple of 50-50 balls. We came late in the fourth is big. Wes, you guys have fallen into that kind of third quarter trap before where you just come out a little bit and the offense looks different after halftime. How did you sustain that and, and kind of avoid that tonight? Well, I mean, I think, um, you know, we made some plays, you know, early in the quarter. Um, we got enough stops. We would start switching our defense up a little bit, which helped. Um, and, and, and B's a tough cover. So being able to, you know, mix some zone possessions, um, you know, try to keep them off balance a bit, I think helped. Um, and obviously they're pretty solid from three, but and miss some shots tonight. But how are you? Uh, how would you feel about your perimeter defense? Um, it had its desired effect, but they missed some shots they probably would, would ordinarily make, and that's that's you know that's the game. You know sometimes you get lucky, sometimes even versus really good defense, it doesn't go your way. But um, to, you know defend the three point line was we knew was a priority. Obviously cutting down those fouls. The biggest issue for me tonight was the the turnovers. You know it's. An area that, you know, we talked about pregame. We've been pretty good the last four to five games. Um, they do a good job. They're handsy. They're physical. Uh, I think they're third or fourth in the league in steals. They're top ten in you know points off turnovers. Uh, so we just have to be mindful of ball security, making sure that uh, you know we don't get overextended. We don't play in crowds. We're not casual with some of our, our passing. Um, and you know it, it, it hurt us a little bit. Did you receive a preliminary report on Brad? Uh, just a like a left hamstring soreness. Um, it's the opposite hamstring, so um, we'll we'll let him get evaluated. We're not really sure at this point, you know, the severity. Uh, it seemed like Gaff struggled early on. Obviously, struggled with foul trouble, but then he came back and had a huge final stretch. What do you think of his performance down the stretch, and what changed for him? Yeah, I think you know just just kind of settling in. You, you know, it's it's tough to guard a guy like Embiid straight up, and like I said, we we tried to throw different looks. Um, we need a guy like Gaff who's got the length and, and uh, athleticism, you know, to challenge a guy like that at the, at the rim, you know, at the apex. But um, I thought he did a better job of trying to show his hands, moving his feet. You know, playing the leverage game, um, and you know, Embiid's—he's Embiid. He's a really good player, so it, it's a tough cover for anybody. But I thought the way he responded, Gaff responded—you know, more so in that second half—was was much better. And you guys have been um, one of the best teams in terms of sideline out of bounds plays and baseline out of bounds plays this year. I think like with 235 left, you had a sideline out of bounds for a big three. What has made you guys so effective in those situations? Honestly, I think just simplicity. You know, we we had a lot of things, and we've kind of really trimmed it. So, you know, just being really good at a few things, um, uh, understanding the wrinkles and options that you can play out of, you know, out of those sets. But it's not a litany of plays where guys maybe get a little confused or uh, uncertain. Um, so maybe that's that's part of it. You mentioned turnovers. I think half of yours came in the first quarter. How? Mm -hmm. Pleased were you, I guess, to still be leading after that? And what was the key to getting it cleaned up in the in the second? Well, I just think just being more mindful of it. I mean, we had, a, I think, nine or ten, to your point, and thankfully in the fourth we only had one. So you know, when it when it counts, you know, the late game situations, the uh, fourth quarter, those possessions become magnified. So being able to um, take care of it, make sure we're getting shots to the rim, um, uh, minimizing you know those mistakes, I think is huge. How did Denny look to you tonight, and what do you think of his strip on Embiid? Oh, that was a huge play. Uh, we had two plays like that. You know, I think Monte got one. He got one. Um, you know, I think um, 
it's always the backs are tricky. You know, uh, I was a little concerned. You know, just seeing him work out this morning, uh, how he'd respond with physicality. I thought he did pretty well.